Two balls are thrown into the air from ground level at the same instant. The initial speed of one of the balls is twice that of the other. Given that one of the balls hits the ground 15 seconds after the other, find the speed at which the slower ball was projected. Well, let's just have a look at this situation using this G-Algebra app. Okay, so here we've got um, the, the ball which is going to be the slower of the two, and here I have the ball which is going to be twice the, the initial speed of that one. So we've got an animation here so just to show you what will happen. So if we start the animation, this is the time, and this will be the difference between the times after one has landed. This will give the displacement of the first ball, and this will give the displacement of the uh, faster ball. You see it's got an uh, initial speed of 2u. Okay, so if we start, okay, obviously we'll see this goes up a bit faster. This is going up, it's going to reach its initial height, then gravity will bring it back down. Okay, so this has now hit the ground, and then the other one is now coming back down. Okay, we can see the difference in time here now. It's now 10, 12. And now we can see we're at 15 seconds time difference. Okay, so that's the uh, this in, uh, animation. So we'll just reset that. Okay, let's now look, look at the mathematics. So we're going to be using uh, displacement is equal to initial velocity times time plus a half times the acceleration times the time squared. Uh, we're going to take upwards as positive, which means that A will be minus G which is equal to minus 9.8 metres per second squared. We're just going to use g to begin with, and then we'll substitute that in at the end. OK, for the slower ball, s1 will be equal to u t1 plus a half minus g t1 squared. So when the ball hits the ground, the displacement is actually zero, OK, because it's gone up and back down, but the actual displacement is zero. So 0 will be equal to u t1 minus g over 2 t1 squared. So just re rearranging that a little bit. OK, there's a common factor here of t1, so we'll take that out. And then we're left with u minus g over 2, and we'll still have 1 t1 there. OK, if for this to be equal to 0, that's the initial time when t is equal to 0, so we won't worry about that one. This is the gives us a bit where the uh, ball hits the ground again. So we're going to have u minus g over t, t1 is equal to 0. g over 2, t1 will be equal to u, just rearranging that a little bit. And therefore, t1 will be 2u over g. We'll come back to that in a minute. Now let's now consider the faster ball. The faster ball will have uh, S2 will be 2U T2 plus a half minus G T2 squared. When the ball hits the ground, S2 will be equal to zero. So we're going to put this equal to zero. So zero will be equal to 2U T2 minus G over 2 G2 squared. Factorizing out, we're going to have T2, 2U, minus g over 2 t2. This is the initial uh, time when it's on the ground when it starts, so t is equal to 0. This will give me the time when it hits the ground again. So t u minus g over 2 t2 will be equal to 0. So g over 2 t2 will be equal to 2 u. Therefore t2 will be rearranging that 2 times 2, which is 4 u over g. Now we know the difference between t2 this is the time this one, the faster one hits the ground, and T1 is 15 seconds. So T2 minus T1 is equal to 15 seconds. Therefore, 4UG, which is the time for T2, minus the time for T1, which was TUG, is equal to 15. 4U minus 2U gives me 2U over G is equal to 15. Rearranging that, we're going to get that as being 15g over 2. Now, we knew that g was 9.8 metres per second squared. Substitute that in there. We're going to get 15 times 9.8 divided by 2, which is going to be 73.5 metres per second will be the initial velocity of the slower ball. So we'll just have one more look at the uh, GeoGebra applets. So we'll go back to that. OK, so we've got the Giorgio applet, so we've got the slower ball and the faster ball. If we start the animation, and I will attach this Giorgio applet in the notes of the video, we can see what happens. 
the faster one's going up much faster. Obviously, the slower one will hit the hit the gravity, and then they start to come back down, and then the other one will come back down. Okay, and then we can see now that the difference in time is out 15, but the actual time taken is 30. Okay, so this has been a video to show you what happens when two balls are thrown upwards and the difference between them landing is 15 seconds. Okay, and one ball has a, twice the speed the other one. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching. And I'll remind you that the Yajra app will be in the notes of the video. Thank you very much.